today I'm going to show you a trick that's real handy if you ever have to wind your own transformers or if you ever run into a situation where you got to strip magnet wire, especially really thin magnet wire like this. This is uh, 34 gauge and there's not much there's not much metal in there so if you try to strip it with like a knife a lot of times you'll end up just cutting the wire right off or you'll you'll just remove too much material you remove metal with the the insulation when you try to strip it off and uh, what I have here is just I, I looked this up on the internet there was a good little forum post I think it was in the about circuits forum and uh, basically what I got here is just a mixture of plain old lye uh, sodium hydroxide is the main ingredient in this and then we have just your regular table salt and I, th I mixed it at about one to four one part uh, salt one part lye and uh, I got it here in this uh, this is actually a shaft off of a lawnmower but you could really use anything uh, they recommend you use steel because you gotta get it pretty hot to melt the salt in the in the lye and uh, just get your your propane torch you're like me screw up stuff all the time anyway, that's why you gotta fix it why you gotta learn how to fix stuff when you screw it up all the time alright I'm just putting a nice even heat on the the metal you want to heat the metal not the let the metal heat the the uh, the salt not try to heat it directly with the torch because you'll it'll start to burn actually you don't want to get it too hot once it gets to where it's melted you want to stop heating it and then dip your your wire in there and this I found it works almost instantly uh, it just strips it right to the bare metal works real good and leaves nice clean shiny copper uh, I don't I don't have it here but I I should have uh, next time this is the first time I'm doing this so next time I'm gonna have like a little cup of water to dip the uh, wire in as soon as it's done. Now you can see it's starting to melt. Can you see that? See how it's kind of bubbling and stuff? Just get it barely where it's melted. You don't want it to bubble too much because that destroys the, the, the sodium hydroxide. The salt's fine, but the sodium hydroxide is what actually does the work. The salt just, just helps the process. I guess, I guess it, it's a, like a, well, I don't know. I don't know how it works. But there you can see it's molten. It's, now i got to put this down. I'm shaking all over the place. Alright. Then real quick, take your coil, or your wire, and dip it in there. Just for a few seconds. And I don't know if you can see that, but that is now bare metal, bare copper. Really nice. And there's a little bit of crud on there you can rinse off with some water. And that's it. All done, ready to solder. So this is this is real good on the uh, the non-solderable stuff because. They, they do make magnet wire you can solder just directly on with the insulation as like a flux but uh, most of the good
quality stuff that's rated for the higher heat is going to be like an epoxy based insulation or, or or form of R or you know like a some type of a uh, lacquer or enamel type material so you you got to use a method like this or if it's you, you can get away with the uh, regular regular uh, just with a knife and scraping it off on the thicker stuff but this this you can't really do that effectively and I hope this uh, this helps somebody out there who's frustrated with uh, trying to strip this tiny little hair thin wire like I am uh, thanks for watching